Thanks everyone for joining. My name is Nihid Pokhril, NWIC co, um, one of the advisors of. Um, this session, um, for those of you who have not been in before, is catered towards school application and school application, particularly in the USA. So Nepali Women in Computing Co, we have a uh, general program so school application. Ma kosari, um, garne banera. Angela, next slide, please. Okay. Uh, uh, give me a second. Okay. Yeah. So I'm every month, I meet we talk about one specific section of applying to schools in America. If you've missed previous sessions, I'm lay overview of application process decide uh, discuss Gauri Sakim. That was earlier in the year. Uh, last session, my application package, my cake is answer, grades, personal statement, and essays. Um, discuss Karikotyo on your sessions. I will talk about what goes beyond your application package, GRE, SAT, and TOEFL to discuss Karnit. So we have about one hour to discuss this session. Um, on the, in any time, if you have a question, please write the question on the chat after the presenter is done presenting. We'll ask the questions. Um, so with that, uh, I'm very excited about this session because we have a phenomenal speaker with us, Angela Shrest, um, who is very passionate about improving healthcare, especially in underprivileged community through data-driven dri decisions is with us today. Angela, I have known Angela for a long time now. Angela and I went to school together back in Nepal in 2005. I believe long time ago, yes. Uh, <laughs> Angela is pursuing her master's in health information technology at the University of Michigan. She also has a bachelor's in biology from Northwestern Oklahoma State University. So we're in good hands with Angela because Angela has seen all different kinds of application going from undergrad to grad, student, grad school. Um, just recently, Angela was an intern at Trinity Health in Livonia, Michigan. As an intern, she contributed to optimizing operations of many healthcare centers with objective to promote access to primary care and services uh, for those who are poor and volunteer. Um, so that's an exciting thing that Angela just completed. When she's free, she likes spending time outdoors and reading and one thing that is i'm very passionate about is angela is a food enthusiast she cooks exciting looking food at the same time she posts about it so after the session i also recommend that you check out angela's blog about what she cooks in her free time uh, with that um, angela i'll hand it over to you uh, and take it from here i'll be on mute if you have any questions i'm around Okay, it sounds good. Thank you. Can you hear me though properly? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Um, hi, everyone. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, I hope everyone is safe and healthy. And I'm super excited to be here and talk about um, school applications, especially in regards to standardized tests. So um, I'll be go going over these individual tests. Um, uh, and then we we'll have um, after that uh, we'll have our tips uh, discussion on tips and resources, and at the end it will be followed by a Q and A session. So as Nihit mentioned, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, um, make sure to enter in the chat, um, or you can also unmute yourself at the end and discuss about it. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so standardized tests are basically um, tests that measures your preparedness for college level uh, courses. So basically, like if you are ready for college level material, that's all it, um, the standardized test is about. And um, for graduate level, we have GRE and GMAT. Um, and for undergraduate levels, we have SAT. And along with that test, we also have to take TOEFL or IELTS, which is the English language testing. Also, it is very important to make sure um, we know that these tests are admissions uh, requirements and not for scholarships. However, in case of undergraduate or bachelor's level, um, the SAT test um, could help you score um, scholarships. So if you have a high SAT scores, it will help you uh, get the scholarships that um, you are trying to get. 
Okay, so moving on to our first test, that is GRE general test. Um, GRE, we have two different kinds of GRE test. Uh, one is general test and another is a subject specific test, which I'll cover after this. Um, so uh, in case of GRE general test, um, it is a computer-based test and uh, the time duration is three hours and 45 minutes. The GRE test uh, measures your verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning, analytical writing. So it has um, a lot of reading, writing, and then maths. Um, the cost for the test is $205. Um, also, the cost might vary depending on where you are. Um, I'm not quite sure um, how much the cost is in Nepal, but um, in case of US, um, right now it's $205. So GRE is administered by ETS. Uh, so if you have any, um, if you want to find any information regarding GRE, ETS.org is the website that you go to. Um, ETS also has a program that um, a fee reduction program uh, for person for students who are going through a financial hardship or you know some economic difficulty, and. However, when I researched, I found out that this is not applied to international students. So we will have to pay the full price. Um, yeah. Also the score range for is 130 to 170. Um, after you take the test, the score is available within 10 to 15 days, and then you can um, report to colleges. But also on the day of test, you have option to uh, report for free scores, which means that uh, you will get to report your scores for free um, to four schools. So make sure that you do that after the test. Uh, it's usually mentioned in the beginning of the test if you are taking it in the test center and they will give you some time to report your free scores after the end of the test. So a general format for GRE is uh, that GRE has three different sections, uh, verbal reasoning, quantitative writing, I'm sorry, quantitative reasoning, and then analytical writing. So verbal reasoning is scored uh, 30 to 170. Similarly, quantitative reasoning is also scored from 130 to 170, and analytical reasoning is scored from zero to six. Um, now talking about uh, subject spe specific GRE test um, is basically uh, sh to sh showcase your knowledge regarding your particular subject. Um, for example, if you are really good in chemistry and you want to apply for this very reputed um, chemistry program and you want to show them that you are a very strong candidate for the program, then that's when you take uh, you know chemistry specific GRE. Also, Angela, it depends on the program. Angela, quick question. Um, okay. Do you have any undergrad lights in there now? Is that correct? Uh, no, for, only for graduate. Right. So, I led in Gajrakupura. This is only relevant to graduates. This is for graduate students, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, Talking about GRE, so GRE ko case mate your graduate level ko lagi ho. So specifically, uh, if you are taking a subject specific GRE, it uh, will supplement your undergraduate records. Uh, but also it depends on programs. So make sure that you are uh, consulting your specific program advisor or the department to make sure that if you need to take the subject specific test or not. Um, also, according to ETS, um, the recent changes have been made. As changes are that they have discontinued biology, uh, English, and biochemistry, as well as cell molecular uh, biology. Uh, they have discontinued those tests. Um, so now let's take a look at the example for analytical writing. Diary. Um, analytical writing is um, basically divided into two different essays. So you will have to write two essays. One is uh, analyzing an issue and another is analyzing an argument. So in case of analyzing an issue, you'll be given a statement and you will have to support or um, agree 
or disagree with the statement and explain with your reasonings and examples. In case of argument, you'll be given a claim. So in that case, you will have to um, explain your support if you are supporting the claim or not with your uh, reasons and examples. So these two are uh, the essay questions that you will be seeing in the uh, GRE test. Okay, now in case of verbal reasoning, uh, it has three different types of questions, uh, reading comprehension, text completion, and sentence equivalence. So these are heavily uh, dependent on vocabulary and also your reading skills. In case of reading comprehension, uh, it contains multiple choice questions. Um, in case of text completion, there uh, it is basically the blanks so you'll be given one to five sentence under this section and then uh, you will have to answer the or fill in the blanks with the given choices as shown in the um, table right here but in case of sentence equivalence you will not be given options so you will fill in the blanks with the word choice that you think is correct based on the passage that you read And for quantitative reasoning, it is all based on your math skills. So algebra, mathematics, um, trigonometry, geometry, calculus, all those good stuff. Um, so under this section, we have four different categories, quantitative comparison, multiple choice with one answer, multiple choice with one or more answers, and one is, um, and the last one is numeric entry. So we all know that um, pandemic happened, a lot of things changed. So um, similarly in the case of uh, GRE testing, uh, they also have developed a safe way to make um, tests available at home. So you can take tests anytime, uh, it's available 24 seven. It's identical to the test that you take at the test center. However, this test is monitored by a human proctor online through Pro ProctorU and uh, you will be able to find more information in ets.org uh, under at home testing that's the title okay so now moving on to another graduate level test which is gmat uh, gmat is administered by uh, mba.com so uh, in case of as i mentioned earlier in case of GRE, you go to ets.org. In case of GMAT, we go to mba.com for um, registration and more information. Similar to GRE, GMAT also measures your analytical reading, writing, and quantitative skills. This test is three hours, seven minutes, and cost is $250. The score range for the, uh, for the GMAT is 200 to uh, 800. Uh, depending and also for uh, writing it is scored from zero to six. Okay, second I not okay. All right, so and the score for GMAT is valid for five years. Similar to uh, GRE, the GMAT is uh, GMAT also has at home testing, which has been available recently um, since last year, April of last year. And here is the format for GMAT. So GMAT has four different sections. Uh, first is analytical writing assessment, which has one essay. Second is integrated reasoning, which has uh, 12 questions and 30 minutes. And followed by quantitative uh, section, which has 31 questions. And lastly, the verbal section, which has 36 questions. Okay, so now moving on to SAT, which is for undergraduate levels. So if you are in school or just completed high school and are planning to go to um, US or other uh, international colleges, you will, um, you might have to take the test, uh, SAT test. So for SAT, you will be tested on maths, evidence-based reading and writing and as essay. 
unlike GRE and GMAT, this test is paper-based. So you'll have to go to the test center and um, use your good old pen and paper. You'll be given um, the paper that is uh, used, that, it, that they utilize for the scoring and uh, you will use that for the test. The duration for this test is three hours, including 50 minutes for the essay. Also, um, I don't know, Neet, if you know if they have discontinued the essay section for the SAT, because in some resources that I looked into, this um, essay is optional. So I wasn't quite sure if that's changed. I, I do not know, but I can look up while you speak. OK, <laughs> thank you. OK, so um, the cost for SAT is $55 um, score ranges from highest being um, 100 and average 1060. The SAT is administered by college board. So now we are looking at the um, different section that we can see in the uh, SAT. So first is evidence-based reading and writing. So this section is divided into two categories, which is reading and writing. First, I'll go over reading test. So reading is, uh, it's a multiple choice uh, section uh, based on passages that uh, you'll have to read. <clears throat> so sometimes the answers are in the passages, sometimes they are not. So you have to read between the lines. And um, this, these uh, passages can be from any field like literature, politics, um, history, uh, history, social science or science um, to have, you know, like a specific knowledge on a certain topic, but just to have a general knowledge would be nice for uh, this section. Okay, so now this one is an example of a reading test. So in this case, you are given a paragraph, a uh, five sentence paragraph, and the question is asking you to uh, determine what this certain line means. Um, so based on the paragraph given above, you will have to um, choose the answer that you think is right, what the sentence is trying to imply. Okay, so now writing test. Um, which is also under evidence-based reading and writing. This is also multiple choice questions based on the passages. Um, this, uh, this particular section is heavily based on your grammatical foundation. So you will have to spot problems and correct those problems. Um, sentence structure, punctuations, verb, subject agreement, and commas. So all those good stuff from um, grammar that you will be um, using for this section. Okay, so now the third section for this is uh, for SAT is math. Um, mostly they are multiple choice questions and some of the questions we have to grid in the answers. And also there are uh, two sections for math. Uh, one is math that you'll have to use calculator and you don't need to use calculator. And uh, some part may have multiple choice, uh, multiple choice questions and with a single scenario. Also, you the same question might be given for a second question. So meaning that you might be given one single scenario, which will be used for multiple questions. And um, problems related to algebra, problem solving and advanced maths uh, will be seen in this section. So for example, in this uh, question here, you will see um, there's a scatter plot and you are being asked to determine the height. So this is just one example. And you might also be given another question based on this same scenario. Okay, so now moving on to talk. Um, TOEFL is the English language testing for non-native speakers, and it is, it is uh, accepted in over 140 countries, including US, um, UK, Australia, and New Zealand. So um, 
four different categories that you will be tested on in this section. In this uh, test is listening, speaking, and writing. So TOEFL, there are uh, two types. You can either take uh, internet-based TOEFL or paper-based TOEFL. The internet-based is $185, while the paper-based is $180. So the duration of the test is three hours. And the score for the TOEFL is um, based on the section. The reading is scored between zero to three. Listening also same, zero to three. Speaking also zero to three, 30, and then writing zero to 30. The score for TOEFL is valid for two years. Okay, so now talking about um, question patterns. Under reading section, you will see about 30 to 40 questions and you'll have 54 to 72 minutes. So, and you'll be given three to four passages. Under listening category, you will have 30 to 40 minutes as well, same as reading. And this one, you will have 41 to 57 minutes. In the listening category, you will be given three to four short lectures, which Listen, and based on that, you'll answer to uh, you'll answer the questions. And for speaking, you will be given four questions, which uh, you'll have to finish it in seventeen minutes. And under writing categories, we have um, essays. There are two essays, and time duration for the essays is uh, fifty minutes. Also, in case of TOEFL too, um, due to COVID, um, TOEFL has developed a TOEFL essential test, which uh, you can take at home. And it is uh, almost similar, but a little bit uh, less in cost and also in time. So this one cost uh, $100, whereas the time duration for TOEFL essential test is one and a half hours. So um, the TOEFL essential is um, also similar to the traditional regular TOEFL, except there is one addition. Uh, that new addition is a personal video. You will have to uh, also add a five minutes personal video in which you will discuss about uh, uh, discuss about yourself and your opinions. So it's a short video, um, depending on you know, the questions they give and, but it's basically, it's about you and um, your study schools and opinions. Okay, now moving on to IELTS. Um, just like TOEFL, IELTS is, um, IELTS has three different section, which is listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Um, <clears throat> In the case of IELTS, the listening, reading, and writing test, you can take that in uh, on the same day, and you can take the speaking test, test before or after you take those um, three other tests. So, which means that you have some time between your speaking and other different uh, other listening, reading, um, and writing test. For IELTS, the duration is two hours and forty five minutes. And uh, the cost varies from anywhere from $245 to $255. The score band for IELTS is um, one to nine, one being the lowest and nine being the highest. Each section is scored from uh, one to nine, scored in one to nine band score. In case of um, reading section, there are four questions and it is uh, it has 60 minutes. So you will have three passages that you do read and answer within 60 minutes. For listening, you will have 40 questions and um, 30 minutes to accomplish those questions. And for the listening part, you will have <clears throat> four recordings. Similarly, in uh, it is a three-part interview in that you will uh, in that you will have to uh, 
accomplished the part one, which is an intro to your family, yourself, um, your work and interests. So it's basically a general introduction. Part two is um, where you'll be given a topic and you'll have one minute to prep and two minutes to talk. And for part three, you will have to extend a little bit more on your part two, uh, depending on what questions uh, they will ask um, as an extended version of the part two. For writing, uh, similarly, uh, similar to the TOEFL, there is two questions. And you'll have 60 minutes. Um, so that is basically um, two essays. One is... Uh, describing your uh, one essay is just like a general you'll be given a topic and second is more like describing a visual uh, you'll be given a graph or a chart and you'll have to elaborate on that uh, part okay now for preparation um, tips it is suggested that you will uh, let you spend 10 hours per week for three months and uh, that is a very good amount of time to make yourself ready for um, this standardized test. Um, some very reliable sources are Kaplan, ETS, and Khan Academy to prepare. Um, a lot of the guidelines that, um, that I found, um, this is just a general that I um, compiled that are very common in those resources. So, um, one of very good idea is to take a test before even you start uh, reading or studying for the test. That way you have an idea which, uh, which uh, field you need to spend more time and uh, plan your study accordingly. So take a test before you start uh, preparing and you can plan your practice according to that. Also, it is very helpful to find a study buddy. So study partner who can help you and uh, motivate you so it is always helpful to have you know someone to you know discuss your um, study and your learning materials and um, in case of uh, finding the resources and any other resources um, I always find that your school library or local library is very helpful um, these books are very expensive, so unless you want to buy, you know, buy them or unless, uh, you're um, really willing to spend a lot of money in the books, um, utilizing your local resources is very helpful. Um, also, you also need to be careful that a lot of uh, these books, the new editions book are always occupied, so we might not always be able to find them, um, but keep an uh, eye out, keep an eye for those books. Um, also, it is very uh, helpful if you are in contact with your friends who are also preparing for the exams and you can borrow the books. Likewise, um, you can also take classes in educational consultancies. I know in Nepal, uh, educational consultant consultancies have a huge market and um, offer some good classes. Um, but also in this case, uh, be mindful that you will have to spend extra to take those classes. And another very good tip is that during the test, um, it is helpful to take uh, breaks. Um, I believe all these tests, uh, they provide you 10, two 10 minutes break or at least one 10 minutes break. So uh, don't forget that you have option to utilize those breaks uh, because these tests are very lengthy and you might be tired or hungry halfway through the test so just make sure you have some light snacks and water um, that you can use during your breaks okay um so as we all know that uh, due to covid um, a lot of universities and a lot of testing um, organizations they have made some changes so it is uh suggested that uh, you make sure the college that you want want to apply uh, if they require the test or not. So you know because um, a lot of these uh, universities they do not require um, this standardized test. I believe um, the TOEFL and IELTS standardized test English language test um, they are still required. 
but in case of GRE and GMAT, some of the colleges uh, or a lot of the colleges, they have made it optional. So make sure you check with the university and the programs. So yeah, that was all right. So I'm open to any questions. All right, uh, thank you, Angela. That was a great session, very informative, especially what has changed during COVID. Um, um, before we get to questions, couple um, personal suggestion. I wanted to share my personal suggestion. Eh? Your timeline could lag, especially. Mm -hmm. I came to United States after 12th. So Nepal was a level level. I my personal experience. I was able to relatively easy. Thio. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I to get a lot I was in critical reading. I was in the least score. I was in the least score. I was in the I was in the least score. 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 I was in the Memory may only only write that four years after Pani GRE Bina bus that carries that you vocabulary or words or memorize got it. Go take a recall boy. So relatively GRE is easy boy. But of course GRE ko math ni thi thi pani easy na unse English is always a challenge right na native speaker na ba kona le. Tar apni malai chay sab banda personally chay SAT garo lai ko thi thi especially GRE subject only the matter got it na na tar. One thing that Teti Hiramala, GRE subject test, one egg domai garutio. Because I might have been the most difficult exam I've ever done in my life. Ani Tara and Mir egg domai bigrego, Timir egg dom bigrego, and Tebara, my little time. Lear up any Kunepani school lie, what Haina. Kinman optional to Teti Hirapani. Ako Ramrako with the Pothone plan, Matthew Tora. I am Igdomina Ramrako, and I knew it would stand against my application. So, PhD program, Matsai, Tiotai Uramapan Potago. So, this is a personal story I wanted to share. Dere Mansiko, similar Nesunatsumile. That's a really good tip, actually. Can you hit? Hi. Should I stop sharing the screen? Yeah, we can hear you. I just wanted to add on to Nihit, say, money plus two, but I go on. I mean, English was difficult, right? TOEFL go no, TOEFL go TOEFL was fine, sad, but English was difficult. Math was a mere problem, given it timing. So I, I was mm. questions were fine, but the timing of not being prepared for that specific time was difficult. So practice test kinds of help. To yeah, keep you on time. I don't know right. any format cost also, you know, but yeah, timing will yeah, practicing helps kind of to be timed. So and GRE, I don't know how did it found easier, right? Uh, I did it in my graduating <laughs> class, so it was kind of a challenge, Malay. Same for me as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I did not get the score that I was expecting, you know. <laughs> So, my score was also okay i think but in grad school other factors also count so i think that kind of helped me with my average gre score right, mm -hmm. right. and mm -hmm. only angela said a very good point right i said a standardized test ma be ready to go twice right at least okay. so they mentally prepare on the first time they fail mm -hmm. <laughs> that'll be that'll be, be very easy in money expectations are lower which is second time i think it's a good strategy also very case my key one like i took the test twice that i'm only apply a program origin program i'm most just my gi in a time then i guess it was not even useful so <laughs> no, okay either um Questions are Akosa chat, ma'am. Before we get to that, Kosala unmute Gara questions, please do so. 
I don't see any on mute, so I'll go and ask the questions on the chat. Hey, very first, how do I know if I should take the GRE or GMAT? Okay, you want me to take this? <laughs> okay, so GRE go case. I mean, uh, oh, GRE is specifically for science, I know, but like if you're applying for um, any science program, math, physics, biology, all those, um, this matter usually GRE using so. GMAT specifically is for management programs. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. MBA and all that. Grad student, grad school. Mm. Next question. Um, how early do I get the scores for my test? Oh, this is a good question. How early? Uh, like, you mean like what is your score? Test also after you take uh, the test. Press they go cut immediately on Saki, do it in Napa, Kurnupar Saki, test. I think in my case, oh, what is like it's your Mirmi was saying, I think I waited for like a couple of weeks. GRE go case, my SAT, I totally forgot. It was a long time ago, you know. <laughs> so, uh, um, I can look it up. Give me a second. So, yeah, GRE is saying, um, 10 days to 14 days, you know, I said to you, I guess I can look it up real quick. On your key on Sarko, when it at the end of the exam, or Kaga Pothone, but Nibani option on Sunny, I know, Kunkun school four, I think up to four schools, I free my button on it's okay. Exam go end man. And so, if you really know four schools that you are applying to, um, we recommend that you know you add those colleges towards the end so that at least three yeah. months. Uh, um, I do not remember right, right after the exam for a few days. I'm using a time period on the four colleges. I don't remember right after the exam. The new person, I mean, immediately, you know, for the one week on the school information. Your SAT case mine, or are you guys talking about GRE? GRE mapani. Okay. Oh, Arco question, eh, Angela? Does every school accept the TOEFL essential test? Uh, I believe so. Can you know, TOEFL and a TOEFL? Um, Co website, ma, they have mentioned that uh, they have introduced this essential test due to COVID, and you know, it is acceptable. So, but I would again suggest, like, you know, make sure with your uh, school go program, school admissions go program. I have a list post, you know, to say ETS official, but official statement, like, you know, uh, it's getting pop popular. Most of the schools are applying, but here is mm -hmm. an official list of schools that are accepting the U list. So, so if anybody is interested, if um, the college that they are applying to takes TOEFL essential or not, yeah, link right. So, you know, like Angela said, I think all the support body that most colleges are accepting U essential. Uh, also, my the slide go end up on the link. I'll go to another smart second. Say school, GRE, GMAT, or SAT is an optional one. I could or sign in one of you. Like it was okay. Link ma. Maybe I should uh bring that up in this slide. I mean, yeah, chat. Yeah, if you can post it in the chat, okay, that'd be awesome. Uh, about our school, hey, yeah, I think uh how was your experience with visa interview and u.s embassy what is to be expected in such interview <laughs> i have a very good story i know it's your funny mirror interview when my daughter didn't know about it first time was pretty bad i know because i think it depends on their mood i know it depends on that you know my first match i'm like a challenging was uh the person was not that very kind i know Second time, I mean, first man, okay, was, I mean, like, first man, just he asked like two questions, and this was, yeah, I was like, okay, for a visa. So, and I had everything, uh, yeah, all the um, all the materials were the same, just made it was different the first time or second time, man. and everything was fine. But they basically want to know that why are you, uh, what's your intention to go to US and 
studied this particular subject so um, yeah just be confident and unzani algadi fina your program my interest sa and what you want to do with this program uh, in the long term to say explain saknu paryo yeah yeah i agree mera bhan exactly question this they thyo mero chai why do you want to go to this school I know. Why do you want to study? I think at that point, my mathematics one got to all that. And why do you want to study math? One was what they got to. I mean, case 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 of the yeah, it's not case I born here. Do you plan to come back to Nepal eventually? One at you and they did hear up any. Yeah, I come plan to come back to Nepal. One at a born here. अनि त्यति मात्रै सो के पनि डकुमेन्ट्सहरु पनि हेरेको थिएन सो लाइक एन्जेला सेड आई थिंक इट रियली डिपेंड्स ऑन हुज ऑन द अदर एंड ओके या आई वाज आई आई ओके इंटरेस्टिंग बात है मेरे पर आई डोंट रिमेंबर ऑल बट देयर वाज क्वेश्चन व्हाई यू आर गोइंग टू दिस स्कूल अनि मैले जे पाइदै भन भन्न थाली सके थिए एंड दैट कांस्टेंट वाज कम टू द पॉइंट व्हेन इट स्ट्रेट वन एंड थे मलाई <laughs> and i just said because of the scholarship but right? that's what i wanted to hear but right? because so i guess they don't want to hear bullshit and all that so yeah just mm-hmm. get your answers short and sweet yeah aur mala hase yaden te di bhane chha mala yaad chha also me mere ke sa pani like first time ma te ke bhati bhane she basically asked like any uh, financial situation i mean त्यो मान्छेले चाहिँ डाइरेक्टली भन्यो कि योर फाइनान्सियल सिचुएसनले हेल्प गर्दैन सो दैट्स व्हाट ऑल दैट्स ऑल दैट्स द ओनली रीजन सी हैड हैन एन्ड दिस वाज सी इट 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 ऑल वेंट डाउन हिल सो आई थिंक इट इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेन्ट दैट यू अप्लाई टू स्कूल फ्रॉम वेयर यू गेट स्कॉलरशिप्स और यू नो लाइक बिकज यू नीड टू बी वेरी माइंडफुल दैट मे बी अहिले त्यस्तो छैन सिचुएसन तर युजुअली पिपल थिङ दैट वी आर फ्रम अ डेभलपिङ नेसन एन्ड वी क्यान नट अफोर्ड कलेजेस सो दैट्स वेर क्वेस्चन आइजेस सो बी माइन्डफुल अफ यु नो वाट काइन्ड अफ युनिभर्सिटी एन्ड प्रोग्राम दैट यू आर अप्लाइङ जति स्कलरशिप भयो त्यति राम्रो आई मिन अ गुड प्रोग्राम यु नो रिलेटेड टु दैट है अर्को क्वेस्चन भन्छ how do we how do we diplomatically answer the question how can you we be sure that you'll return to nepal after you study this is a very um, tricky question mere jasna tumhe okay so question ke re how do you diplomatically answer and this was see how do you convince them that you get you will be back yeah मेरे कस में मैं कि लाइक मेरे अब बायोलॉजी प्रोग्राम थियो मैं अप्लाई कर सो एंड इनिशियली आई वाज इन टू इन्वाइरोमेंटल कंजर्वेशन सो मैं के भाग लाइक यो प्रोग्राम यो कलेज को प्रोग्राम मैं इंट्रेस्टिंग लगे इसमें मैं अब यो ये कुछ सीक्न सकु सो दैट आई कैन कम बैक टू माई कंट्री एंड यू नो इम्प्लिमेंट सो एंड सो टू मेक और टू हेल्प माई कंट्री मनी टाइप को काइंड अफ टू लिंक Mm-hmm. um go ahead okay. yeah i want to try answering this question mero pan like it's very similar to what angela said man che ke bhanchu bhane find a problem hai na find a problem in amro existing that is like there amro nepal ma kya society ko level ma ho ya industry ko level ma ho whatever like find a problem that your major is like directly or indirectly going to uh, like be able to solve it just the mero case ma mo chai computer science uh, like that was uh, the major i was applying for and uh, computer science ma pani maile chai natural language processing ma kaam gareko chai dui barsha bhanda badi bhako thyo when i was applying for my visa and tes pachi ke bhane bhane like i said nepali bhasha ko lagi ta yo tools ta kei pani banekai chaina and i'm going there to learn huncha ni yo sabai skills haru learn garera chai i want to come back and establish sort of a research um, organization or something jolle chai yo problem solve garna lai chai kaam garnu chha tara tya samma pugna ko lagi chai i really need this education bhanera chai uh, i'd put it that way so uh, problem ro solution ko hisab le chai if you tackle that question sayad uh, it could be um, it could be a good answer just to lag samma lai chai yeah that's true i agree mero case ma pani maile chai ekdam different answer hai which i'll share right tyo chai tedi khera mero mindset testo thyo malai chai professor bannu man thyo math ko अनि त्यही भएर म नेपाल आएर म्याथ पढाउँछु भनेर सिम्पल भनेको थिएँ ए ल हुन्छ अनि त्यति मात्रै सोध्यो अरू केही भनेन ओके 
All right. Um, on to the next question. Eh? You would say, I don't know if we can answer, but we'll try. Uh, how much does it affect if someone has three years bachelor's from foreign affiliated university from Nepal? I've heard colleges in US require 16 years of education for master's. Uh, that's a tricky question. Uh, so bachelor's three years my complete work like or sorry, it's a one cause Okay. I'm not quite sure what I'm saying. Usually, our, uh, I don't know, I, US education system lay three years for bachelor's, like also really in charge. So, I don't know if any one of you have idea on that. Mm. I would say it depends from college to college, university to university, for a person. Uh, like, I think, and that is also because, like, Different country, but I rack over. Not the US matter, people go accelerated program. I know bachelor's mm -hmm. said, no, master's go credit clearer. There are people who are able to achieve that. Uh, but yes, I think uh, Amro, Amro countries is the country, John saying like education wise, like a certain certainty, they might require 14 years. Thara, I would say. Admission officers or lie like on the department or like say email got that the best um, uh, because like it's not just about like how many years of schooling it's also about prerequisite courses or just have master's program la apply for that sabane certain prereq courses or on some the undergrad mali nu pare ko parne aru theo say pura bahko sapi sai na bande pura apne matter ko so so you would want to compare the courses or prereq or ani this pochi kune requirement fulfill bahko sapi sai na bande say. A lot of times I know a lot of people um made a field as a computer science or IT partner, let's say thin bars of podera, egg bars such a cam gorilla boy pun the experience they kind of uh they have um like um been able to come to US master school, I would say. So it also depends university, ma, it also depends program. Ma. So it, it your your question can answer say, honestly. Hami say, you know, like hami, we're not in 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 that position to answer this question. This should be targeted towards uh, people like um, so, uh, admission office ma. Right. And in universities man say explicitly na so we do not accept three years bachelor's one. Multi open they has. Multi open they have one to buy. in case you don't see it, yeah, like she has said, highly recommend talking to the admission counselor. Uh, any other questions from the live audience? If not, um, the event one, the eleven questions are top. I go to the live audience. Key questions are, um, question. I, I, do they check your background before granting you a visa? I heard it somewhere that they go through your social media as well. Is this true? Uh, <laughs> I'm a part of this the popular thing, right? Social media, I guess, <laughs> like uh, oil is popular, so you know. Uh, we didn't worry much about that or uh, not sure officially ke change Margo, sir, but I I don't know. I don't think they will dig through your social media. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Time imagine every counselor lay other uh, down the mirror slot, the boss, Facebook, Instagram in the time moving. <laughs> Got them. Yeah. Unless you claim something very out of the box, and so like, ekdom <laughs> interesting or ekdom shocking factor, boy, one is they might. Uh, but I think like given forty thousand people, and so on, the process going to burn. I agree with me. I don't think they would have uh, time to go over your social media. Yeah, boy, go with easy one, so I know this the criminal could have tracker now, and Nepal the tracking system, but need I'm not saying so. That's yeah, that's most likely not that. Yeah. Uh, anything else? So uh, just just so everyone knows, I have a link uh, post I have a LinkedIn ko link or Sparks admission one link. So it has all the list of universities and colleges. So it's like uh, GRE, GMAT or SAT like optional. Um, okay, I thank you for that, Angela. Um, Hi, one question. How does GRE academics affect acceptance for TA or RA position? Hmm. GRE score? 
Since I'm not under those programs, I don't think I'm eligible to answer that. So if anyone has experienced that, I know GA, I mean TA organization. I know Neet, you had one. Right. Also, so, Neet, can you uh, repeat the question? The question is, in GRE, le, um, TA ra RA acceptance, like what the impact was, GRE score? Hmm. GRE is a good thing. I know. GRE is a good thing. Apply to the nominee. Just requirement. Right. Uh, also, but, isn't like uh, TA and RA more once you get accepted? And okay. this puts it to the So, like, because I guess TA and RA is more like a, a, a resource uh, with the department. Okay? So, GRE plays more role when you are applying. So, once you are great to sell, SF boy, but you know, I don't think anything matters. So it's more like the how much funding or how much position your department has. Correct. Right. Right. Uh, also experience, also experience. Like the course, ma, like pila ko kati ko experience. So just like uh, I'm talking computer science ko basis, ma. Just mm -hmm. Java, C plus uh, plus, Python. I guess the introductory courses are much students there. Yeah, unsa undergrad ma. Hey, ek dam me there student unsa. Ani test to khalko courses are much. Usually there uh, a teaching assistant ship alu like teaching assistants magi rakun sa. Ina professors alle. So in that case, like if you have uh, some experience with Java or C plus plus, like pila courses are alle kosa relevant pane cha. It could be helpful. Na T A apply ga ta kiri. Uh, university ma chai, like if you are a P, if you are coming as a phd student team road uh, teaching assistant ship chai, uh, they, they are going to give you you know and this much you will get courses based on your experiences you can you can say like uh, courses you think you are good at and they will look at your courses that you've taken and your experiences and this basis much they will assign you a course they own so any research colleague is definitely like uh, it depends professor to professor depend on you know, research uh, co funding or say professor le personally like a uh, the department le on that money the professor song a cotico grant so cotico projects so and it your projects nothing more skills come like sati landana money could are let's say they could are let's determine course and if they are looking for um the grad assistant or this much a research assistantship that is a repaint so so yeah, that would be like more on except like Angela Ibon is the except by Pachiko Kura Ruth. So therefore to summarize, GRE Vitra Pos Natayo, Vitra Pose Pachi, when you talk to different faculties, Titi Hira are a position Kobari Madere Thaunsa, T a position say Professor Lepan Thaunsa, but most of the time department like or so they want is a TA position thumbs up on a TA bunny kun kun classes ma paune na paune team or interest of a suppose PhD gara sare koyafnu academic advisor le podairago class someone you'll more likely be the TA for that class and this I put you figure out got me kuraro suru my pony if you're really interested in a professor so nobody means on a email got it up uh, I want to TA for this class. I think you'll teach. Is it okay? So, not say Milsa, but the logistics time later on. And GRE really has nothing to do with it. Uh, okay, on to Divinda question. I have a question. Um, what are the things that matter for scholarship into GRE waiver university? Oh, your questions are mainly busy now. What are the things that uh, matter? One big question for you. I mean, if you could elaborate a little bit, the question go by in my college. Yeah, Ravina, if you want to unmute yourself. Uh... Hello. Azur. Hi, Ravina. Hello, the are you university or Maji? I live here. One drug is in COVID. You are the head of what university to pay by us any. As to my family, scholarship, like I go to put in a cost to things or matter or so, and it was no jetty. Oh, scholarship, Kalagi. Scholarship, let's say, first, which is most important, is your academic transcript, right? You matter or so, except one that they got these cooler, let's say, scholarship, like. 
meet garner nahi so everybody can apply if you have a gpa above 3 bhanne huncha tara scholarship like consider garner cha 3.5 cut off time cha bhanne ta bhancha ke so that is one thing and our co thing is a personal statement personal statement pani matter garcha haina tinga personal statement ma kasari lekhchau ke garchau tyo haru tyo telle pani impact garcha ani third thing um, is your resume ekdamai phenomenal resume cha bhanne पनि कलेज इफ कलेज रियली वांट्स टु गेट यू त्यहाँ पनि स्कलरशिप धेरै दिने चान्सेस हुन्छ अनि मैले चाहिँ भर्खरै रिसेन्टली लर्न गरेको कुनै कुनै स्कुलहरूलाई चाहिँ दिएन भने पनि माग्न पनि मिल्ने रहेछ के यो चाहिँ मैले भर्खरै लर्न गरेको उनीहरूले अटोमेटिकली तिमीलाई दिएन भने पनि इज देर एनी वे यू क्यान गिभ मी मोर स्कलरशिप भनेर सोध्ने पनि चलन रहेछ तर यो जीआरई को केसमा हैन ग्रेजुएट लेभल को केसमा ओके सो लेट मी ट्रैक लेट मी करेक्ट माइ सेल्फ मेरो केसमा चाहिँ अंडरग्रेजुएट को केसमा चाहिँ हैन स्कलरशिप म सुरुमा जाँदा फेरि एउटा सर्टेन स्कलरशिप थियो तर भित्र स्कुल भित्र गएपछि लाइक आई लर्न अबाउट मोर अदर एरियाज अर अदर स्कलरशिप अपर्चुनिटी सो त्यहाँ भित्र मे कुड अप्लाई अनि त्यो अनुसारले यु क्यान अचीव मोर स्कलरशिप सो द मोर यु यु नो रिसर्च अराउन्ड एन्ड लुक अराउन्ड यु नो त्यहाँबाट पनि थाहा हुन सक्छ किनभने कति प्रोग्रामहरू हामीलाई कति स्कलरशिपको बारेमा हामीलाई थाहा हुँदैन अन्टिल एन्ड अनलेस वी एन्टर द प्रोग्राम अर स्कुल इन्टरनेसनल स्टुडेन्ट चाहिँ डिसएडभान्टेज नै हुन्छ स्कलरशिपमा चाहिँ हामी अलिकति डिसएडभान्टेजमै हुन्छ किनभने कति धेरै स्कलरशिप यहाँ अमेरिकन सिटिजनको लागि हुन्छ हाम्रो लागि चाहिँ मेरिट बेस मात्रै हुन्छ त्यही भएर मैले फर्स्टमै ट्रान्सक्रिप्ट इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेन्ट थिङ भनेर भनेको चाहिँ हामी चाहिँ कम्पिट गर्नु सक्ने चाहिँ त्यही मेरिट बेसमा मात्रै हुन्छ नीतले भन्यो यो जिपिए इज द मेन थिङ होइन त्यो सो मेरो अन्डर ग्रेजुएटको केसमा पनि र ग्रेजुएट लेभलको केसमा पनि लाइक द ओन्ली थिङ द्याट इज द्याट हेज बिन एबल टु गेट मी द स्कलरशिप इज जिपिए Arco question, and this is a fun one. Anything that you wish you knew before going to USA? Any personal experiences? <laughs> There is a lot, and I can't want to say that. Just to put on that. First thing, say, I will keep. I mean, my experience, like, um, like, of all the particular advanced or boys, like, in the internet is. so we can just look it up and find out i know that over like 10 or 11 to over years ago it wasn't that common i know so um i mean over nepal when i say hey us when you go it's like all you know all the fancy stuff big buildings nice you know all that but this so you know like kune kune universities are or most the universities are they are in a rural area i know so it's away like 3 2 3 hours away from the cities so um it's not like what you see in the movies and all that so um just be prepared i any mean, or if you don't like the uh, universities in those kind of you can always transfer there are no options i know there always be mindful uh, about the study that's going to affect course correct mero chai u chha euta different perspective the finances go as a student i know कति पिर लाग्थ्यो के लाइक टू थाउजन्ड डलर्स अ इयर लाई रुपिजमा ट्रान्सलेट गरेर धेरै पैसा तिर्न छ मलाई भनेर आई वुड बिट माइ सेल्फ अप होइन अनि अलि सानो सानो कुरामा कट अफ गर्ने के अब अमेरिकन साथीहरूसँग हुँदाखेरि उनीहरूले कफी खान्थ्यो बाहिर गएर होइन कफी भन्या पाँच डलर पाँच डलर मल्टिप्लाई बाई हन्ड्रेड हन्ड्रेड ट्वेल्भ कति रुपिजमा गरेर अनि दिमागमा आइहाल्ने के ला एट हन्ड्रेड डलर्स एट हन्ड्रेड रुपिजको कफी खाने म छैन मसँग पैसा अनि त्यो गर्दाखेरि चाहिँ त्यतिखेर चाहिँ एकदमै राम्रो गरेर सायद तर मनमा चाहिँ अलिकति ऊ हुन्थ्यो कि ला आम नट द सेम भन्ने हुन्थ्यो होइन नि अहिले चाहिँ काम गरेर नै साइडमा आ आम अ वर्किङ प्रोफेसनल अनि त्यतिखेर हेर्दाखेरि चाहिँ ल त्यति सानो सानो कुरामा मैले कट गर्नु पर्ने नै थिएन मैले राम्ररी पढेँ अहिले ह्याड आई स्पेन्ड द्याट मनी द्याट अहिले मैले ब्यालेन्स गर्न सक्ने रहेछु जस्तो लाग्छ कि त्यतिखेर चाहिँ एकदमै सानो सानो कुरामा होइन अनि अब यहाँको कल्चरमा चाहिँ फ्राइडे इभिनिङ साथीहरू बाहिर जाम भन्थ्यो होइन खाना अमेरिकन साथीहरू अनि फेरि त्यतिखेर ओहो एभ्री टाइम गयो भने पन्ध्र डलर कन्भर्ट गरिहाल्यो दिमागमा अनि होस् भनेर बस्ने अनि बस्न चाहिँ बाहिरबाट चाहिँ पैसा कट गरेछ तर भित्र त्यो जहिले पनि नराम्रो लाग्थ्यो कि अनि अहिले चाहिँ 
had I not missed those opportunities, I think I would have a full American college experience. Just to lack, okay? That is one thing I recommend. Um, trust yourself, you'll earn it later, right? Now, and you uh, easily compensate. Also, our rural area, it's a living style, is uh, you know, affordable. And Anjati, Algati, our cities area, they move there, so it's a bit expensive. So it's that general kind of um, yeah, but I think there is a delicate balance. Okay? Um, like Alikiti living cost sustain some like you know, suburbs ma rural area ma zanura, like urban area ma goera, all kiti dere pay the experience linsu one like trade off same uh, and especially like computers again like I know I'm doing like computer science computer science but uh, uh, I think like just the um California Bay area ma all like all you get is body theater thank you college experience linura um like on Johnny कम पैसा में और कुछ हमारे लिए नुमाज़ है ये उड़ा कुरा जाके फ़ौरा खुन्चा बने बे एरिया में जाए तुम्हें कैफ़े में गया बने पन यू कैन एंड अप लाइक यू नो मेबी बीइंग फ्रेंड्स विथ समवन फ्रॉम गूगल और लाइक उनसा नहीं ऑल दिस बिग टेक कंपनीज के सो तेरे से ये उड़ा ट्रेड ऑफ़ चाहूँ सॉरी Try to like you know uh, find scholarships so that like college but uh, grad school but you are uh, you, you don't have a lot of debt okay um you say but yeah coming to like uh, something grad school maunubandagari is like uh, PhD program choose God the hell is a please please got this type and pirates who other my PhD program choose Nagarum college my cost to lab talk cost of calco research by that so do calco research after a month for three for the not this go other much a college choose got him because when you come here uh got to the area or scholarships and judge and say by the bottom they hit down then yeah i put you got to go around the town so you know uh so uh because of that college choose got a kiddie phd colony it's a kina bunny it's a personal experience but i go do college choose got that it's a type and gather man over them and all go money because of questions would not know that i'm I think like you say, Malay Babali Bonbako, America is to this, so that's it on a magio money, say, put down the chances to do Nepal Manona, success, I thought America was a hunter one and one moon ticket. And I think like don't hesitate to ask for help, ask questions. Yeah, say, particular do Malay put up, I could the heck with you, okay? There you go. And you got the Afne Pony, so yeah, two things. That's very important point, Shreya, actually. See, like people are all, they are generally usually very helpful, I know. So just ask like professor or see a colleague or Sati or anyone around you. you know, uh, they are always willing to help. So just, you know, be confident and ask whatever, you know, any questions or if you are in any difficulty or anything. So just really one, just the question saying, so my person. Okay, next question. Do universities provide TA, RA, GA position to master's student for computer science? Angela. Mm. <laughs> okay. I can take this. Computer oh, science. Oh, since, oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I can take this computer science collab. If it is a master's with thesis, there is just the university like God. So because you're contributing to research minor. But uh, if it is like just masters without thesis, they might not. You know, a masters without thesis, say 1.5 years must have been a if you take your courses, uh, so uh, they won't have like 30 time now then. Okay, it's like give and take. Kalko one, um, you know, so um. Uh, funding or so it's it's a give and take relation so okay team like a in return did also so to in return the knowledge of time span not book name while go currently usually just masters match i know no sucks for the yeah i suck a position masters going to student or let's say apply got a one at ts much i found us are a penny found us also but usually are it's a more research oriented one that one is software engineering oriented said the kid out to him and it is to like they are a research assistant or a god not a lab my usually uh um uh phd students are who go research ko lagi chai 
एडिशनल सफ्टवेयर हरु बनाउने कामहरुमा चाहिँ बडी इन्भोल्भ भएको चाहिँ मैले देखिराछु बट टीए को लागि चाहिँ यु क्यान अप्लाई बट स्टाइपेन्ड कम हुन्छ पीएचडी और मास्टर्स विथ थिसिस ले पाउने स्टाइपेन्ड भन्दा चाहिँ धेरै कम स्टाइपेन्ड छ एट लिस्ट लाइक मेरो कलेजमा कलेजमा चाहिँ दैट इज ट्रु मेरो स्कुलमा चाहिँ दैट इज ट्रु कि मास्टर्स गर्ने स्टुडेन्टहरुलाई चाहिँ दे युजुअली गेट ग्रेडर को पोजिसन दान टीए को पोजिसन सो दैट्स दैट्स अ गुड पॉइंट शेयर टु एड टु व्हाट यु सेड है कंप्यूटर साइंस बेनिफिट के होन्छ भने यु कुड आल्सो गो इन अदर डिपार्टमेंट्स के मेरो नै साथीहरु छ हैन कंप्यूटर साइंस मा मास्टर्स गर्दाकोले कंप्यूटर साइंस कम्पिटिटिव भएको हुनाले उनीहरु म्याथ अप्लाइड म्याथ स्टैटिस्टिक्स फिजिक्स हरुमा पनि टीए गर्थ्यो आरे चाहिँ गरेन टीए चाहिँ गर्ने अपर्चुनिटी थियो स्पेशली त्यो फन्डामेन्टल बेसिक क्लासेसहरुमा चाहिँ टीए गर्ने अपर्चुनिटीज हुन्छ सो यहाँ आएपछि चाहिँ यु विल फाइन्ड आउट कि यहाँको चाहिँ फर्स्ट सिक्स मन्थ्स चाहिँ एकदम टिमिड हुनु हुँदैन होइन एकदम एक्टिभ नै भएर सबैलाई अप्रोच गर्नुपर्छ क्वेसन सोध्नुपर्छ स्कलरसिप छ भनेरै सोध्नुपर्छ तर एकदम धेरै रिसोर्सेस हुन्छ अनि यु फाइन्ड द्याट आउट बाइ वर्ड अफ माउथ कि वेबसाइटहरुमा पनि हुन्छ तर कति कति चाहिँ वेबसाइटमा नभएर यु गो एन आस्क क्वेश्चन या फ्रॉम पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस रिसर्च ल्याब को वेबसाइट्स हरु चाहिँ एकदमै डिलो अपडेट हुन्छ है धेरै जस्तो टाइम त मैले त्यही देखेँ सो so, सोध्न नै पर्छ यु अल्सो ह्याभ करियर सेन्टर्स हरु जसले चाहिँ लाइक यसमा हेल्प गर्छ हैन स्कुलमा बट युजुअली मास्टर्स स्टुडेन्टहरुलाई चाहिँ मैले देखेको चाहिँ यहाँ आएर मात्र नै लाइक दे ह्याभ टु टेक दट रिस्क दे ह्याभ टु टेक दट कल कि लाइक स्कलरसिप नभएको नै आउँछु एकदम रेयरली मात्र मास्टर्स विथआउट थिसिसलाई चाहिँ मैले फुल स्कलरसिप वा लाइक त्यो बेनिफिट्सको साथ चाहिँ देखेको छु है अनि अर्को कलेजमा पनि हो हुन्छ है कलेजमा पनि काम गर्न मिल्छ सो इन्टरनेसनल स्टुडेन्ट्सले कलेज बाहिर काम गर्न मिल्दैन त्यो चाहिँ इलिगल हुन्छ तर कलेज भित्र अन क्याम्पस कहिले काम गर्न मिल्छ होइन सपोज आफ्नो फिल्डमा नहोला तर इफ फाइनेन्सेस इज द ओन्ली थिङ कहिले काहीँ डिपार्टमेन्टको फ्रन्ट डेस्कमा काम मैले पनि गरेको थिएँ होइन त्यो हाम्रो ल्याब अर्गनाइजर ल्याब क्लिनिङमा सो ल्याबमा अलिअलि सफा गर्ने त्यो इन्टरनल कामहरू चाहिँ गर्न त्योहरू पनि हुन्छ सो यु नगन गेन मच एक्सपिरियन्स तर अलिकति पकेट खर्च चाहिँ त्यहाँबाट पनि आउँछ या अनि वान मोर थिङ कम्प्युटर साइन्समा चाहिँ इट्स भेरी अट्र्याक्टिभ समरमा यु क्यान डू फुल टाइम फोर्टी आवर्स काम गर्न मिल्छ सेमेस्टरको टाइममा गर्न मिल्छ दिस इज ट्रु फर सबै प्रोग्रामको लागि बट आई थिङ्क कम्प्युटर साइन्समा चाहिँ इन्टर्नसिप्सहरू पाउन सजिलो पनि छ बिकज दर लाइक बिग टेक जाइन्स हुन्छ नि हायरिङ एक एकदमै हाई पेमेन्ट पनि हुन्छ होइन अनि त्यसपछि एकदमै हाई पेमेन्ट हुन्छ यु विल गेट गुड स्यालरी जुन चाहिँ इफ यु क्यान सेभ साँच्ची नै भन्नुपर्दाखेरि एउटा सेमेस्टरको फी तिर्न मिल्छ अनि इफ यु इफ यु क्यान कन्भर्ट त्यो इन्टर्नसिप टु को अप प्रिटी मच लाइक फर्स्ट इयर यु माइट पे सेकेन्ड इयरको चाहिँ यु माइट नट पे एट अल खालको सिचुएसन पनि हुन्छ बट देन इट्स लाइक यु रियली विल ह्याभ टु टक टु पिपल एन्ड वर्क भेरी हार्ड टु ल्यान्ड अप एन इन्टर्नसिप and when that happens if you need help nepali women in computing will be there so reach out to any of us um we are in different organizations we can definitely help you there as well so very last question this is for shriya ma'am um shriya what suggestions do you have for someone who's seeking to pursue masters in computer science with machine learning specialization um एउटा क्वेशन प्रज्वल इज इट लाइक एम एस एज एन लाइक मास्टर्स विथ थिसिस कि मास्टर्स विथ आउट थिसिस प्रज्वल यू रन म्यूट इफ यू सेइंग समथिंग आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट दैट राइट नाउ ओके नो so uh, masters with thesis gareyo bhane chai you have uh, you can define what your project is going to look like you will find an advisor hai na ani tespachi tyo timro thesis le chai sort of timro like specialization chai define garcha bhanum na euta hisab le but uh, again like you can take relevant courses hai uh, you can take machine learning go introductory courses dekhi lera more advanced courses haru त्यो स्पेसलाइजेसनको हिसाबले बट देन देर आर अल्सो प्रोग्राम्स जसले चाहिँ मसिन लर्निङ म्यास लाइक हुन्छ नि मास्टर्स इन सिएस विथ मसिन लर्निङ स्पेसलाइजेसन भनेर प्रोग्राम्सहरू नै हुन्छ एन्ड आई थिङ्क कार्नेगी मेलन अनि देर लाइक सम युनिभर्सिटिज जसले चाहिँ मसिन लर्निङ 
focused uh, computer science programs or so you can look into those like both ms uh, like masters or masters with thesis uh, but again like thesis because you are writing a thesis you're uh, delivering a work of research you you can define on machine learning map on k area ma monero to sabeche out of certain degree somewhat i think you have control over that obviously like finding right advisor is important i know this is gone but i think like um find courses that offer the specialization like computer science one day mass of a university because of a computer science program let's say this to calco specialization say of our garden so find universities uh, and programs who do i know uh no and like if you cannot find one then i would say like uh, cs like general cs layer of courses or um to machine learning area my courses or you know and projects or you like every course us much like there are assignments there are projects i know even course go and projects or uh try to make sure that you're uh, doing as much like um to afla man lage ko feel ma chai you if you want to dive deep into one particular area of machine learning to go up any bio or generalize um, only generally spawn with how one name sunny all the recourses or my different calco project or to try got up any bio uh but yeah like specialization a bonnet a garden over it's a fine programs that offer those specializations once you want it all right thank you shia um any other questions If there are not no more questions, we'll thank you, Angela. Thank you for doing this session. The discussion was quite entertaining. Uh, for the audience, I mean, next month, about the same date, dates I said back, we'll come back. We'll talk about researching schools. Kun school kasari apply garne. Um, reach out graduate, undergraduate, master, subway level collect. We'll talk about that in about a month. So keep an eye out for that. Um, if there is anything else, please reach out to us as well. Um, we'll be very happy to answer our questions, answer your questions. Uh, with that, uh, Angela, anything that you'd like to say? Um, no, it's uh... Just want to thank everyone. Um, thank you, Nihit, and thank you, IC, for giving me this opportunity. It was fun. All right. Okay. Thank you. Abba, I'm recording. Stop, Gertsu. Shia, do you want to stop it?